Uh, tonight, uh, we're hosting the Lynn English High School Multicultural Festival. It is hosted by the class of 2021. And uh, we have a, a number of students who have set up various tables representing uh, about a dozen different cultures that are represented here in the Lynn English community. So this is a display that Sam and I put together um, in the planning of the uh, cultural night. We found out that we share a common heritage. Our families are both from Sweden. Um, so we kind of pooled our, our resources and you know, we both made a um, traditional Swedish dish and brought together some uh, decorations that are typical around the holidays and uh, in Swedish culture. So this is the Indonesian flag, so it's a, you know, Indonesian culture. We have nasi goreng, which is just fried rice, and it's consisted from like margarine, like spicy chili powder, stuff like that, and then people usually put like fruits and veggies on the side to make it, I guess, a little healthier. In Swedish culture, Christmas is probably the most important holiday. It's a holiday where people will travel long distances to get together with their families and spend time with their families. So it's, you know, it's really important and uh, people enjoy it. I mean, so many of us have pride in our heritage and our culture and to have an event where you actually get to represent the culture of your family and the, and the history of your family, I think that's important for all of us. For myself, both as a teacher and a father, uh, I made some hummus from Lebanon and I actually had my daughter in the kitchen with me and showing her for the first time how we make this family dish. And I know that that story was played out with so many of our students where they were in the kitchen with their parents learning how to make these foods. And it's like, it, it's an opportunity for these things to be passed down to another generation. There's 17,000 islands, so there's a lot of different cultures. Every culture is different. One of the main known cultures is the Balinese culture. That's why we have like the Balinese hat and like, <laughs> and shirt over there. I decided to make Swedish meatballs, which is a staple of a, a Christmas dinner in a Swedish household or a Swedish family, so. My dad's from uh, the main island, which is like one of the bigger islands. And it's just like every culture is different. Some cultures like gold, some cultures like silver. It's, there's no like one culture, it's all split up. I feel like there's not a lot of Indonesian students here, so it's cool that they get to like see my culture.